Hello guys and welcome back to some more Tech It. Alright, a couple things you may notice. Um, some textures, they look slightly different. For instance, the Macerator here, it's got a different texture. So does the Extractor and the Bat Box has a majorly different texture. Um, as well as the Redstone Engines. I updated texture packs. Um, basically what I've done is I've merged the new and updated version of... Um, the Tech It Spax BD Craft with the Spax for 1.4. Uh, I think 1.4.6 is what texture pack I'm using. So sugarcane looks different over there, as you can see. And also, this looks different. As I showed uh, just a second ago, you can heal up stuff with covalence dust. So I'm still on the same pickaxe and everything that I had before. But I mined out this area because I'm thinking that this is where we're going to set up our first awesome new item. Not really an item, more like a machine, and that is, I was looking up steam engines, a quarry right here. Recipe, we're going to need gold gears, diamond gears, diamond pickaxe, all this cool stuff. And also one thing, the diamonds now shimmer. Just saying, looks pretty cool, I like it. Alright, um, so for the quarry, you're going to need to make some gears, and to make these, we're going to need some materials. So we're, let's go ahead and grab some iron, I really hope that we have enough if we don't. I'm actually just going to plop some in the macerator and hope that this gets done quickly. Um, Wahaha. Alright, so to make gears, what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need wood. Do I have any wood? Oh, uh, this, this is going to be so depressing if I don't have any with me. I'm going to have to go out and chop some trees, probably. Uh, but we can ch check over in the house. Yeah, some textures have updated, like I said. Um, for instance, the condenser looks pretty different and also looks a lot cooler in my opinion, as well as the transmutation table looks a lot different. Um, okay, we have some wood, which is good. I'm not sure if this version of Optifine that they use in this actually has the connected textures. No, it doesn't. Okay. I mean connected to Well, I don't even think I have the connected textures on, actually. Uh, let's do that really quick. Video settings. Uh, quality. Okay, now let's check. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, that is so nice. I'm going to have to have connected textures on for the rest of the series then, because it just makes everything look so nice. Like, the wood is actually paneled together. Look at that! Oh, my gosh. It's, ab it's absolutely beautiful. And this wall. I, I don't know if it looks that much different, but I, I just think it looks nicer. Um, so, yeah, we've got some materials being pumped. We're getting some more iron ore, which is nice. Uh, let's get to making these gears. So let's just make seven of them. I'm going to need to make more gears eventually anyway, but I figure I should just get these out of the way. Uh, where's my cobblestone that I got? Uh, tell me I didn't use it all in the condenser. That would be depressing. I don't think I did, though. Um, I have a stack. That should be good. I'm also, like, dead on food. Here we go. We got some pork chops right here. We can have these. Yeah, this. this is great. All right. Um, so let's, let's put a little bit more pep into the commentary. And it's so going to get really dark in here. Um, I think I'll take a nap. I can. What do you mean I can only sleep at night? I want to go to sleep right now. Can I take a nap during the day? I should be able to. Just saying. Alright, so, now that it's daytime again, let's over, head over here and we'll craft as many of these stone gears as we can. Now we're going to need iron. And I think we have enough iron, actually. Yeah, we did. Um, so now what? We're going to need to keep three iron. We're going to need to make four gold, which we're going to need 16 gold for. And, of course, we have no gold. Um... This is going to take a little bit of time, so I think I'm going to cut here until I have one gold ingot. Because when I get one gold ingot, I'm actually just going to go ahead and condense a couple using, I think, two diamonds. So that'll get us eight more. We're going to need 16. Oh, that's depressing. Um, you know, actually, I think I'll just, I'll just let this go for a little while. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Alright, so the last bit of gold is going in, good, and 
should be pumped out and we'll be able to get well we have our 17 gold so that's all we need um, so let's go ahead and make all the gold gears we need to keep two extras and then we'll need to make two diamond gears oh yeah all right so now we have everything we need now the recipe is iron gears like so the gold gears the diamond gears and the diamond pick it has to be a new clean pick that's never been used before which is why I repaired mine using the covalence dust and the redstone now we get a quarry now a quarry is really awesome as I'm sure you can assume um, but first we're gonna need to make a couple redstone torches and by a couple I mean four and then we're actually gonna need to run over and pick up some lapis lazuli um, so yeah, let's do that. Uh, here we go, some lapis. Actually, let's use a little bit of our spare lapis and just create a few diamonds. Why not? There we go. I don't know why I wanted more diamonds, just because. Alright, so now we're going to be making something really, really cool called a landmark. And these are used to help you... Um, create a custom size for the quarry, which I think are, is really nice. Um, oh, look at this. We got the flowers. This is great. I love this texture pack. Um, right here, actually, we have some uranium, and I could pick it up, but we're going to let the quarry get it. So let's set up the landmark here, and they have to be in a line, just so you know, and I'll show you what you have to do. You just left-click them onto the block, right-click, I mean. Uh, and they'll just stay there. And then we place one here. Then we run across. And then we'll have to make sure that we're even with the other landmark. So let's see. Should be this one we're standing on. And they should all connect. And they'll form this red little baseline. Now we can place down the quarry right here and now it's got the custom size of where all the landmarks were now sometimes for whatever reason the landmarks like to stay with the quarry and sometimes they don't I don't know what the little reasoning behind them sometimes staying placed and sometimes not is all I know is that they do it um, so we got the quarry which is one thing now how are we gonna power it well, like I had searched up at the beginning of the episode, we're going to use steam engines, which is pretty nice. Um, let me see. I'm using a little... Is it working? Yeah, it is. I'm using a little glitch thing I found that if you turn um, load far on in the options, you can actually have far under distance, but keep your render distance really small to make your computer run faster. I don't know, it's easier since I run off of a laptop. Anyway, um, we need steam engines. Alright. Steam engines. So, we're going to need some stone gears, stone and some pistons. Alright, that should be good. Um, let's, just re let's just make all the sticks that we can. 20 of them. That's not going to be enough. Oh, jeez, that's unfortunate. Um, but we'll be able to make a few, and then, can you actually condense these? No, you can't. You need two per each, and I'm thinking we're going to need... I want to get, like, five to power the quarry. Because we're going to use conductive pipes to actually power the quarry. Which we'll, we'll be getting into those in just a minute. We're actually going to... We're going to power the quarry and everything this episode, hopefully. If I can get all the stuff built in time, which I should be able to. Alright, there we go, that's good. Uh, Alright, so I'm, I'm, I really love this new texture pack, by the way. I've been seeing um, the updated version of SPACs for, like, Tekken and Technic used a lot by people on YouTube. And I've really been wanting to, to upgrade mine, and I finally got around to doing that since I got WinRAR. Um, let's also just make all the gears we can. We'll use them eventually. Uh, Twelve more gears... I feel terrible, but that's, that's not, oh, well, nine, uh, we still need, we need more cobblestone. I just broke, oh, gosh, this is unfortunate. 
just got rid of our last bit of cobblestone, so let's run over here, mine up a bit, and then we're going to condense it, and I'll be back in just a minute, uh, once I've got some more condensed, and I have some more gears built. Um, oh, that was a lot of cobblestone that just got condensed there. Oh well, that's no big deal. I'm not even going to bother cutting that out, because that was really short, I don't know why I was thinking about cutting it out. Alright, so let's actually have 10, that'll give us 5 of these engines, alright. And we're going to need more glass, Ugh. So annoying. I always think I have enough materials and then I never end up having enough, which is just, uh, it's infuriating at times. What? Oh. Okie dokie, so we've got more gloss. I don't know why I said glass so weirdly right there. Um, so we're going to need to do this for the recipe. Put the glass. The stone gears. Oh, where are my pistons? Oh, no. This is unfortunate. I think they're in the chest over here. Everything's in the chest over here. Oh, by the way, the wrench texture changed since the update. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, here we go. Pistons. And it's time, finally, to make the engines. So we have five steam engines, that's great. Now we're going to need something to power them. You can use levers, or you can just do redstone torches, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to need one lever. And I'm also going to need some charcoal. So let's make some more charcoal. Charcoal, having the same efficiency as regular coal in a furnace, uh, is extremely useful, actually, when you're making these re um, not redstone, uh, steam engines which run off of coal. So let's leave one coal right here, and then our philosopher's stone. The texture on this one hasn't changed, which is kind of surprising. I really thought it would have. Um, let's see, we have two stacks. Okay, we need to make more of that. Definitely. We'll actually keep a stack of this. Alright. Let's just throw a diamond in there. Good. And we'll just make a ton of charcoal. Why not? Alright, so I'm going to get the basis, basic uh, setup going for the engine really quick. So let's dig off a decent sized area down here below where the quarry is. If you remember, um, this was actually a mountainside um, before I dug everything out, which took ages, by the way, just so you know. It's ridiculous. Oh, we found more uranium. That is just great. There we go, we got everything that's important. We're gonna set up engine, 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 engine. I think I got one too many. Um... I think we can just do this. And it should work all the same. Okay. So now I'm going to dig my way out of here. And I'm actually going to go to sleep. And then I think we'll put the lever on and we'll make the conductive pipes. So, let's see, for conductive pipes, we're going to need wooden conductive pipes, which is just a wooden transport pipe with that on it, and then we'll need normal stone conductive pipes. Do I have any, do I have transport pipes with me for one? Pretty sure I do. Um, Ah, uh, there, there we go, they're staring at me in the face. Okay. So now that we have five wooden conductive pipes, I'm going to need to grab some stone. Conductive pipes, rather. Stone conductive pipes, there we go. Uh, or stone normal pipes. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Ah, uh, get out of my inventory. Charcoal, I need you. Alright. So, um, now let's, we need to make some stone conductive pipes, we'll make ten of them. We're probably going to need more, I'll make 
15. There we go. So now I've got these two pipes built. We need the lever. Okay, so now let's get these set up running the way we're going to need it to be run. If that made any sense, probably didn't. Um, here we go. So first of all, we're going to need to put the lever here. Now we're going to need to put charcoal. Charcoal. Some more charcoal. And then in here. I think we are only going to be able to use four engines, actually, because I won't be able to hit the lever. Okay, that's no big deal. Um, let's just get rid of you. That's no big deal. Four engines still provide a lot of speed. Okay, so we have to set it up like this by clicking on the block next to them. And wow, these look really, really weird to me. I am so not used to this. Alright, here we go. Now the quarry will be getting power whenever I turn on this lever. I don't think we're gonna power the we're gonna like start up the quarry yet though, because I don't have enough pipes to pipe into a chest. And I think we'll actually well I yeah, I'll pipe whatever. I'll make some pipes. There we go. I think we have yeah, we have well over a stack now. So let's just use wooden transport pipes. And all the materials from a quarry will come out of the top. It's a good thing to know, trust me. So let's pipe along the ground. Okay, that was weird. And let's see. Let's continue placing down all the pipes. Oh, this is so annoying. I need to go over here. I hate falling in water. I really just don't like water in Minecraft that much at all, to be honest. Um, and where are we gonna where are we gonna put it? I guess we'll put it into a chest that's maybe like right here. Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna just put everything straight into an energy condenser to begin with. Um, because really, we're not going to be getting any good materials yet. I mean, that uranium, we were just going to use, I was just going to use that to condense anyway. So that's no big deal. So let's place the condenser right here. And now the pipe, in just a moment, is heading straight into the energy condenser. And then let's place a diamond in here and show that the EMC is zero. And now it's time to turn on our quarry. So if you have a quarry underground and there's blocks like around it or within it or something that's not an even level, it'll first delete those blocks. But this time, since it's all flat, it's actually going to start being made. And wow, the new quarry lining texture, that looks really nice. Really like that. Alright, so it's going to set up along this thing like so and I think I'm actually just gonna let it set up here um, I might do like a speed up footage thing or something but I'm just gonna sit here while it sets up all the way and then come back when it's done so yeah see you guys in a minute Alright, so the quarry is just about to connect right over here. Being a little laggy, but it always is. And now an arm is going to descend right here. It's going to start taking down the blocks inside the layer. I assume it's going to be starting all the way over in this corner, so we'll give it time to get over here. Because um, it's going to start digging, I guess, from here and go along. So let's see, the arm, it, it this quarry, I can tell, is going to be kind of slow. We're going to come back every once in a while and add more steam engines and steam engine outposts. So basically, I want this quarry to be able to mine down to bedrock in like three or four hours. 
Um, and at this rate that it's going with its movement already, we're probably seeing about... I don't know how long it would take, but it would take a very long time to get down to bedrock. So here we go, it's going to start taking out blocks. And it'll just continue to do this in a line, then it'll come back this way, and then go that way again. So you get the idea of that. Um, steak. Or pork chop, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and check out what's going on here. So, dirt and cobblestones are coming through the transport pipe. And they will continue along very slowly. You can make gold pipes that actually speed this up. It, if you were curious, you can actually speed it up, which is nice. I will be placing gold pipes because this is unbelievably slow. Um, so yeah. Now once it makes its long way, and I'm actually probably just gonna cut until it actually gets here, um, it should go straight into the condenser. So I'll see you guys when the stuff gets here. Cause, geez, it's gonna take forever. Alright, so it's slowly, slowly making its way. It's right here almost at the energy condenser. Let's look from the pipe, and it's slowly making its way down there. Okay, here we go. It's making the turn, which is nice. Alright, and you will see the EMC counter up top next to the diamond to the right of it. You'll see it increase by one every single time something goes in there. So, slowly but surely, we are making diamonds. It's going to take 8,192 dirt, cobblestone, and sand. On the off chance that there is any, but there isn't going to be any. Uh, it's going to take 8,192 of them to make a diamond. So, it's going to take a really long time. We're probably not going to make a diamond um, this way. This is also really inefficient. However, I can assure you, we'll make diamonds in other, much more efficient ways. Also, look at this. Look at the new solar panel. Look. I love this texture pack. Gosh, this is the best thing ever. Alright, thank you all for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video where, I don't know, we'll take on some more technological tasks of tech That was so random. Bye, guys. See ya.